Hello, and welcome to Whimsical's Windsocks. In your grab and go, you have received a windsock, and it's a plain white windsock. And um, on the instructions, I told you to have a can. And the reason that I'm asking for a can is because once you start drawing around the uh, cylinder of the windsock, it's much easier to keep it straight to figure out um, how you want to make your designs. I also said in the instructions to have uh, some markers, permanent markers. Any will do, Sharpies or whatever other um, permanent markers that you have available. And it is a long, uh, tedious kind of project, so I want you to think about all the different kind of designs that you do. I've been um, having this project at the library for quite a number of years and have collected uh, a variety of different kinds of designs. So some of the uh, designs are like this, kind of free form and different colors. Here's one that's very intricate. Here's one simpler but intricate and also taking a lot of time. And then uh, there were different designs around the round cylinder of the windsock. Another way to do it is to, to freeform the designs that you want to make. And again, using the can inside it so that you can press on it and make a, have a stiff surface to make your designs. Here's one that we didn't even get around to finishing this one. So each of these designs did take a while and um, so don't plan on doing this in a half an hour, unless you want to, but you can really spend some time and make beautiful um, designs on it. This one is one of my favorites, and what we did on this is uh, did it like a Sharpie tie-dye project. So you use rubber bands uh, back and forth and Sharpie tie-dye it. and then color the edges with some of the uh, darker colors. The darker colors always work better. And then um, you can drip some alcohol and then uh, the colors will spread. They'll bleed, as it's called. So that's something to consider. You can do a different, each of the streamers in a different kind of design. Here's another uh, Sharpie tie-dye one. And I'll show you some pictures of, uh, not exactly the windsock, but some Sharpie tie-dyes, um, and you can get an idea of how to do it at home. All right, so you're gonna put your can through the cylinder of the windsock, and then decide what you wanna do to color. So I'm going to do some red and I'm going to just do a circle right around the uh, cylinder of the windsock. So I hope you enjoy making the windsock. Use, use the time, spend time doing it. The summer now, so you could spend the whole summer designing a special windsock that speaks to you with a different design on each of the streamers, a different design on uh, each section of the cylinder. But it's your windsock, it's your art, and enjoy it. Bye.